Hello there, Ticket Subs fans. We just saw the film Ant-Man and the Wasp. Uh, guys, we should uh, we should activate our Ant-Man suits. All right, three, two, one. Oh, gosh. Ah, oh, feels much better. <laughs> Hello, everyone. We just saw the film Ant-Man and the Wasp. This film was directed by Peyton Reed, who directed the first one, and it stars Paul Rudd, Evangeline Lilly, uh, Michael Douglas, Lawrence Fishburne, Hannah John Kamen, all-star cast. Guys, what were your thoughts on this film? I think it's a fun summer ride. If you like science, just pretend you don't. <laughs> yeah, that was... Oh, God. It was fun, except every single time they said anything related to science, it kind of just made me cringe really, really hard. Other than that, great movie. Yeah, kind of what Nick said, Perfect Summer. It is definitely kind of a nice... Not I don't necessarily say break, but, you know, Infinity War, definitely... Uh, this one's kind of a nice light one after Infinity War. A nice kind of just light, fun summer blockbuster. It builds up these characters that we're definitely going to see in the future of the MCU. It uh, really, it has the fun, you know, shrinking, uh, using the different uh, pin particles. They have lots of really cool sequences with that. And Paul Rudd in this movie. I feel like it just said Paul Rudd do Paul Rudd things, and it worked very well. What were some of your, uh, without spoiling anything, what other parts of the film uh, did, you want to, did you want to mention? Man, I don't know. I, I That's one thing I'll say about the movie. There wasn't, like, a, a moment for me. It just felt like if you've seen the first Ant-Man mm -hmm. and all sort of, like, the tricks they play where they're, you know, playing with the big and the small and all that stuff, it's more of the same. It's it's more of that. See, I uh, had a couple scenes I liked. I liked the, uh, um, the villain. She had a really cool power. and They did a lot of cool scenes with her and uh, a lot of cool camera work with uh, the fights with her. And then also they had a lot of cool special effects for when they went into smaller quantum realm area. Science. <laughs> That's the quantum but, small um, quantum realm yeah, quantum. Yeah, it looked really cool, um, <laughs> but it didn't really make any sense. But I would ju I'll just say the special effects are pretty good. Yeah, and kind of definitely special effects looked awesome, definitely. And kind of going on what Nick said, like, there really wasn't that many moments. Like, I mean, there were moments, but I will agree with you with the... the the trailer surprisingly gave away a lot of this movie, and I'm and I wish there were a couple things that you know, that is, it's kind of my fault. They showed them like at script like the previews for movies, like they show like here's an exclusive clip from Ant Man and the Wasp, and I usually try to avoid that stuff. So if you haven't seen any of the marketing of this movie, definitely keep it that way. There's definitely I think a lot of stuff would have been a lot cooler if I didn't see that in the trailer, uh, but still uh, great scene. Let me let me piggyback off. I just want to throw this on because John John has a good point. Um, the villain in the movie, the special effects and sort of the power about the villain is really, really cool. I just wish I saw more. I mean, like, you, they got a, a little bit in, but I don't know. I feel like they could have done a lot more with that. Like, a lot more uh, interesting things, you know, angles and, and moments with that. Yeah, they... That could have been really cool. I did like how... Uh, but the she, conflict between them was kind of dumb. Yeah. I'll, I'll say, say this. I'll say this. <laughs> I'd like to see more of the villain. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Also, there were a lot of kind of disappointing parts of the movie. I won't spoil anything, but I was hoping they would end in certain ways, and things did not go the way I would, was expecting them, which I guess is a good thing most of the time when they subvert your expectations, but um, sometimes it's not for the best. That's why uh, I didn't think this movie was as good as it could have been. Yeah, like, I really, kind of going off what Nick said and what kind of you said, John, about, like, there were some parts that definitely could have been, I don't necessarily say more unpredictable, but I think they could have maybe done something different to make it really, to make it hit you. Mm -hmm. um, but definitely stay for both post-credits of this movie. Definitely always fun seeing that. Uh, the Ant-Man theme is back, too, from the first one. Like The, dun, the dun, second, dun, dun, the dun. second uh, <laughs> one is the best one, I would say. Oh, yeah. One of the best, yeah, yeah. One of the best post credits, I yeah, think, in Marvel. Yeah, definitely the second one. Mm -hmm. And if you wait... Ooh, the, the cameo from uh, Stan Lee was really good this yeah, time. It's yeah, it's a really funny yeah. one. Yeah, that was a good one. So definitely good seeing that. I was disappointed when I didn't see him in Deadpool. So that made Deadpool? up for it. Maybe he's wearing the Ant-Man suit and he's somewhere. <laughs> yeah, he's too hidden. small to see. Yeah. Uh, so anyways, we're going to bring back the classic John uh, rating system out of 12. He started this during Thor Ragnarok. So John oh, yeah, John and Nick, out of 12, what would you give this film? Uh, like a 7.5. It was good. I won't watch it again, but it was good. 7.1. 7.1? Yeah, I'd probably say 6. around 8. that. I, I gotta probably, I'll do 7 and then go plus 1 just because I got to... I gotta, my so so eight. eight. Actually, I'm gonna do six point nine. Six point nine. Um, yeah, somewhere in that range. It's like it's cool if you're in the Marvel movies, see it. If you're not, you could probably pass up on this one. 
Yeah, but definitely, uh, I think Nick's really summed up perfectly fun summer blockbuster. It's really kind of, you saw Infinity War, I'm just like, um, that was definitely a lot heavier than this one. Kind of just a fun fill in the mm -hmm. blank. Yeah, type. I guess if you were to compare the first one to this one, mm -hmm. uh, this one is a little bit more action packed, I'd say. Mm -hmm. uh, less on the comedy. Mm hmm. So if you're going for... But still heavy on the yeah, comedy. Yeah, yeah, still heavy on the I feel like the first Ant-Man was like 90% comedy yeah, that was... and action. This one kind of bumped it up to like 70% comedy, 30% action. So mm -hmm. and that's uh, the main main difference between the two movies, I'd say. Yeah, that's that's very, very well said. Uh, definitely the, this one uh, definitely has more action scenes, more inventive. Uh, great scene of Angeline Lilly, too, as the Wasp. Such a cool character. Definitely yeah. excited to see more of her. Yeah. All right, everybody, thank you so much for watching. Uh, we're definitely anticipating your... Uh, Van fantastic comments. <laughs> <laughs> uh.